Y'all know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game and it's free. Click the link down there, you got it. Stayallday.com. Thank you. So, you see the whole, you see what I cook, I'm cooking up right there. He's like, yeah, he's like our Chef D. <laughs> Chef D, what's good? What's up, Mr. Underdog? Mercer C, what's up? Oh, wow, how you feeling? That's our waitress right there. You at the Waffle House right now, Nick? Which one you at? Big Dev, what's going on? Staying fresh for life, D ball playing. 10 13. Baldwin, Dre all day. Andy from Cali, what up? Mike, Mike Young, what's going on? How are y'all feeling out there? I'm at a Waffle House in know where we at somewhere in South Carolina that hey yeah my brain is in there that's why I got the all-star special so I got I'm gonna show y'all what I ordered one in Arizona yeah they everywhere I got the all-star special so I got grits I got my eggs scrambled with cheese toast I don't eat meat so this is gonna be a hash brown and I got the waffle so that's it what's up Royal Queen house because I'm driving and it's like the only restaurant around here there was a Wendy's, there was a McDonald's, there was a, a Subway. <laughs> so it was all this stuff that I didn't want to eat. Waffle House was the best option. And this food is so cheap, it's crazy. I don't know, I don't know how they stay in business. TED Talk ain't come out yet. When it comes out, you will know. What's up, Donna? Checking in from, from Canada. Sir Warren Steak, what up? Trey Tom, what's going on? So, I've been driving. I'm in Georgia, almost in Georgia. Nothing better than Roscoe's. Ain't no Roscoe's over here, so I can't go to Roscoe's. I heard of Roscoe's over in LA. Last time I was out there, I didn't have Roscoe's. Last time I was out there, I was in the Bay, so I didn't even go to LA to get it. BLT, huh? I ain't eating nothing. But the man is. That's my meal right there. That's my meal you're looking at right there. So. No, I ain't headed to the ATL. Just come. What's up, Cat 25? You love Waffle House? I don't really eat there that much. I don't really eat there that much. My Go to my website, is on there. I'm reading uh, Donald Trump, Never Give Up. I actually didn't change it yet. I just finished the uh, Grant Cardone, Seller Be Sold. So now Donald Trump is next. Been at least two days, yeah, I've been at a business event. So I've been surrounded by people with not a lot of sleep for the last 72 hours. So tomorrow I'll probably do another one. Part of South Carolina I'm in? I don't even know. What part of South Carolina are we in? What town are we in? Ridgeland, South Carolina. You're about... Ridgeland. 35 minutes? Okay, so we're in Risland, South Carolina. They asking me online, I'm, I'm live streaming. Trump is no role model? Well, he, he knows his business. I didn't say he was my role model, I just said I'm reading his book. <laughs> they sell blue waffles, they sell, they said chocolate, they got strawberry. There's a couple other ones that they said. Yeah, I'm in the country, Risland, South Carolina. He knows bankruptcy. Oh, hey, he about to know the presidency. Oh, he about to get you audited. You better stop talking about him, he win. The IRS gonna be on your ass or your parents ass, be, be careful. How's the weather out there? It's about 50 degrees. What's up, Miss Tracy Moss, how you feeling? No, no blue waffle, I'm getting the regular waffle. Black 1982 from Texas, what up Texas? You was born in 1982? Me too. Yeah, he knows how to make money, definitely. What time is it? It's about five something. I'm Eastern Standard Time. I can't see the time because I'm on my phone. You don't think you'll win too many people disagree with him? Well, hey, he only gotta have 51% of the people agree with him for him to win. He was born rich, no merit. Well, it ain't his fault he was born rich. He made it bigger. That's the thing, though. He took, his father didn't have the money that he got now. He made it bigger. And he went bankrupt, but he was negative, and then he made more. So you got to respect that. But here, I ain't here to defend Donald Trump. Listen, if he wins, he wins. If he loses, he loses. All of us still got to take care of our own business. I did see the dunk contest. It was very good. How long I've been scoping? Today, like three minutes. Forever? Like three, seriously, like three, four months I've been doing it. You didn't think I ate? Well, I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat. Waffle House. I'm already about to eat wow. right there. I don't want to follow her. She's on, she's on Snapchat. Do I think Gordon got robbed? No, I don't think he got robbed. Robbed, I wouldn't say that. I'm 34. I just turned 34 a week ago. Uh, what was that? Mariah Hormsby. Yes. I just turned 34 a week ago. So this is this is some of the food. I think there's more coming. Yeah, my grits are still coming. Thank you, Trey Tom. I've always had good social skills. So I got my toast right here. I'm 
Trump is a Republican karma. <laughs> That's what's up. I look skinny. <laughs> when I get skinny? Since the last time you seen me on the scope? <laughs> I look good for my age. That's the first time I ever heard somebody say that. So I guess I'm old now. Somebody tell me I look good for my age. That's something you say to women. You don't say that to a man. Do you? <laughs> Kevin Hart got robbed. Those eggs, yes, they do have cheese in them. I specially requested cheese in the eggs. Oh, I forgot about the waffle. Thank you. Regular syrup. I like sugar, no, definitely. As much sugar as possible. <laughs> no, okay. So can you say hi to my people on Periscope? This is Georgie. She's our waitress. She's been helping us tonight. Where are you from, Georgie? I was actually born in Augusta. You're from Augusta. How far is that from here? About two and a half, three hours. Two and a half hours. How did you end up in this town? Well, when I was younger, you know, I lived in, I was born in Augusta. My dad was in the army, so he got deployed to Fort Riley, Kansas. Okay. Lived there for a while, and I moved, just recently moved back down here okay. five years ago into my, because my stepdad has a house. His grandmother left him his house, yeah. house in the will. Yeah. So we moved, we moved into that house after she passed, unfortunately. Okay. So that's how I ended up here. Okay. And I've been working here ever since I was legal to work. Okay. So what's the best meal at the Waffle House? If somebody comes and visits this one in Ridgeland, they should ask for you first of all. It depends. What, I mean, breakfast get? or like dinner. Y'all like the breakfast, the breakfast or the dinner better? Which one you like? Better? Well, I kind of like the novelty of having breakfast whenever you want it. Exactly. You that's know? why we have breakfast That's right like, now. you know, that's like, it's o'clock. cool. Yeah. What's the best dish? What do you like? If you were, if you came to Waffle House on your day off, what would you order? I wouldn't, but you know, <laughs> I, spent, I spent 40 hours a week over here. But so if I did, yeah. I would get the scrambled eggs and cheese, but I love onions and my scrambled eggs are so good. Okay. You get the raisin toast and hash browns with onions and cheese in it. I didn't know y'all had raisin toast, so I would have ordered it. Well, I'm gonna get that. We can order that, no problem. Maybe, let me eat this first. Okay. Yeah, I'll see. Thank you, George. No problem. Uh, of course. Yeah, she's trying to give herself a nice tip. Y'all see that, right? But anyway, this toast, she just told me about some raisin toast. Yeah, I didn't know about the raisin toast. DeAndrea, they ain't tell me, so I'm about to get that. Thank you, Wonder Woman. I appreciate that. Breakfast is the best. Thank her for her father's service, our will. Yeah, I didn't know about the raisin toast. She just told me she's going to give me an order. Huh? When they going to charge me for it? That's the question. <laughs> What's up with y'all? But I did see the dunk contest. I don't like the format that they got. I don't know why they only got four dunkers. All the athletes in the NBA, why you only pick four people, first of all. Second of all, you got to get the all-stars back in the dunk contest because nobody, that casual fan don't even know who those guys are. Levine, Eric Gordon, Aaron Gordon. But who else was in the contest? Andre Drummond's close to being an all-star. Who was the other guy? Who was the other person in the dunk contest? I forgot the other guy. Oh, yeah, Will Barton. Yeah, they don't. They not even. Uh, they don't even start for the teams that they play for. Nobody even knows who they are. They're good dunkers, but you got to get the all stars in there so that the casual fans are like. Let me watch the dunk contest so I can see the. So I can see Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Why is Russell Westbrook not in the dunk contest? How is he not in the dunk contest? He should be in the dunk contest. What's going on, Sharday? But they got to give you advice for success on what? What you want to be successful at? That's the first thing. Yeah, they got to get the all-stars in there. Like when I mean, Vince Carter did it, Vince Carter was an all-star. He was starting an all-star game. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is the best player in the league doing a dunk contest. LeBron James. They got to get those guys in it. Now, I know it's partly their choice, but they got to put some money up. You know the dunk contest winner used to get $5,000 now. You go to a dude who's making twenty million a year and say, "Yo, you get five thousand for winning this contest. Why are they gonna do it? Put a million dollars up. Get one of the sponsors like Sprite. Put up a million dollars to whoever win the dunk contest. You ain't gonna do it now, but they could have got it right. They just messed it up. Kenny Smith said that years ago. First of all, you gotta put some money up that makes somebody who's making the max say, "Wait a minute, I might have to go do go get that million dollar." Now, if it's five five thousand dollars, like you making twenty million, you might not want five thousand. You know what I'm saying? So, Dwight Howard was good. Dwight Howard was good. Nate Robinson. It's cool. You can have the unknown guys in there, but you got to mix them in with the superstars. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the superstars in there and the unknown guys. Blake Griffin was a good one. 
Yeah, get him in the center to compete. Because why would LeBron want to go against Zach Levine? He ain't got nothing to, nothing to gain. He gonna win five thousand dollars. I know Renee, yeah. my food getting cold. I'm not gonna do the scope the whole time. I had to wrap this up. If any of y'all on Snapchat, make sure you follow me on Snap. It's at Drake Baldwin. At Drake Baldwin. I've been on Snapchat a lot often. So y'all wanna catch? That's the best way to reach me. Like Snapchat's basically like you texting me without having my number. Cause you know it's 24 hours it expires, so you be able to get in touch with me. John Wall was a good one too. I think that was before he was even making the All-Star game. Tonight, West or East, and I don't even care, Luke, for real, for real, because the games be whack. The All-Star game be whack. I've never been a fan of the All-Star game. Saturday better than Sunday. The game itself is just a formality for the players to run around and show off, but the game's never good. Because the players ain't really playing hard. Ain't nobody playing D. So basically you get to see what you already know, which is this guy can shoot, this guy can dunk, this guy can dribble. No, Dre, D-R-E, my name. Snapchat is D-R-E-B-A-L-D-W-I-N. My name is not Drake. My name is Dre, D-R-E. Somebody write that Snapchat name at Dre Baldwin, please. So any of y'all on Snapchat, just follow me there. That's where I'm going to be at. Actually, that's where I'm going to be at as soon as I end this scope because those right there taste better when they warm. And these right here, same thing. Right, Georgie? Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, at Dre Baldwin, that's my snap. So y'all go follow me on, uh, it's below zero today, man, you need to come to Florida. It's over 70, so you got below zero or over 70, come to Florida. But yeah, I'm about to finish this meal, y'all. Make sure you follow me here, because I do do these, I do actually talk about stuff on Periscope, just not right now, because I'm about to eat this Waffle House. Hit me on Snapchat, at Dre Baldwin, see the stuff that I just posted. I just posted like 50 snaps like an hour ago, so go to my Snapchat, check that out. Follow me, send me a snap so I know who you are. And I'm going to get at y'all. Work on your game. Dre all day. Make sure you get my first book, Buy a Game. It is free. Click the link right here below in the video description. I'm on all your favorite social media platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Periscope. All the links are right down here below. It's either Dre Baldwin or Dre all day on each one of those sites. And make sure you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button down there and the thumbs up like button. Subscribe so you catch all the new content. I Work on your game. Dre all day.